guys, welcome back to the next of the comparison videos with the Revo Vanilla and Honey against the EOS Visibly Smooth, I think is it? Or is it Visibly Soft? Actually, I think it's a Visibly Soft collection in Vanilla Mint, so let's get started. Format-wise, they're both dome types, except that the Revo has a flat top and the EOS has a rounded top, although this one's getting pretty flat from use. Haha, -ha, see, I do use them! Proof. Um, <laughs> so many people have commented, you don't even use them, dude. It's like, yes, I do. I'm just slow because I have so many of them that I go back and forth between them. But yeah, so the more times they show up in comparison videos, basically the more often they get used because I use them right before doing a comparison. So that is format. Packaging wise, they're, they're actually kind of similar. I mean, this is a little beehive. It's beige and this is an egg, but it's got stripes that almost line up with the lines in the beehive. So there's that, except it's shades of blue, so I automatically like it more for that. So there is that. These are actually both natural and organic for once. Doesn't happen too often. Um, in terms of limited edition, I don't think either of these are limited edition. So there's that. Amount of product you get in both is equal. They are both a quarter of an ounce. Shelf life, I don't have a clue on this guy. It's so old that I'm going to be replacing it soon, probably. But, um, because I think it expires this year. It was, like, my very first one. Um, and this one, let's see, August of 2017. So, there's that. But ultimately, I think this one did have a longer shelf life on it from the time of purchase till when it expires than this one. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Price point wise, I think the Revo is cheaper because this particular EOS I believe I spent four dollars on and this one was like either $2.99 or $3.99 if I remember right from the actual retail price not what I ended up paying for it because I had to buy it online but I think that was the actual retail price though. So sturdiness wise actually for once they're a little more on par because this is hard plastic can't really do much to that. But the visibly soft um, EOS is also hard plastic. They're not the weird little rubberized plastic. I mean, the, um, is it the light blue one? Yeah, the light stripes in it are the same rubberized plastic, but the dark ones are hard plastic, so less damage incurred all around. They both have good locks. They both stay shut real well, so I'm happy either way. Now, in terms of special features, neither one has SPF, neither one has medication, so we're on equal playing ground there. Which brings us to the scent. And I just love this one so much. Even with a stuffed up nose, I can still smell that, and that smells amazing. Mm. Love that so much. So it's like vanilla frosting, and this one, it's pretty similar to the vanilla bean, but I guess there's a little mint in there. Yeah, it's a little bit different, but ultimately... I actually like this a lot more than I like Vanilla Bean, but of these two, I definitely like the smell of this one more. And color-wise, they both go on clear, even though the wax is pretty much neutral on both of them, so why wouldn't it go on clear? Um, yeah, so, flavor-wise, I don't think... I actually can't remember if this one had one or not. Shoot! Um, again, refer back to the initial review for that, but this one does not really have a flavor. I can't remember if it ever had one, like when it was new, but at this point, if it ever did, it's gone. So, there's that. In terms of consistency, the EOS is thicker than the Revo, but unlike the Vanilla Bean, this one is more of like a greasy type of feel, and slicker than that one, if you know what I mean. It's actually a lot more similar to the feel of this particular Revo. They're actually pretty close. I think the EOS has a little more um, of the oily factor to it, but in a good way. Um, in terms of shine factor, though, this EOS definitely has more shine than the Revo does. And with moisturization, I think it's safe to say that actually this EOS does do a better job. But with longevity, though, the Revo, it actually stays on longer. But with the drink test, they're about on par. So, I don't know. With these two, it's kind of a toss-up for which one wins. Um, I'm trying to not make it be a cop-out tie. So, out of these two, hmm. 
ultimately, I think for how it feels on my lips, I'd probably go with the EOS, even though in terms of the scent, I like that one better. So that is about all I have to say on this one. I still got five more comparisons to go. Y'all know where to find me. So, um, as usual, if you like the video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. Until next time, bye!